Hi, and welcome to this tutorial about uh, doing an Andy Warhol silkscreen style effect in Photoshop. Uh, you can start this off by going to the original image. Uh, you can download this from my website. And uh, we're just going to start by cropping this off so that it matches pretty close to the original. Okay, looks good. Uh, now, with this image selected, uh, if you're using your own, just make sure you go to mode, go to grayscale, okay, at this point. And go to your background and layers, double click the little lock to turn off the lock and rename this layer face. Then we can duplicate it by right clicking on it, duplicate layer, and we'll call this one hair. Okay, we should have two layers identical over here. With the hair layer selected, go to image, adjustments, levels. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull these levels together so that we wash out a lot of the grays. We're going to go for um, lots of blacks and lots of whites and we want to get rid of a lot of the gray, the gray tone that we see. Kind of like in this original here. Um, it's going to help us bring the color right out. And that looks pretty good for me. Click OK. Turn off the hair layer. Click on your face layer and do the same thing. This time when I'm adjusting the levels I'm paying more attention to the face and in particular uh, Marilyn's uh, her left cheek that really sort of pops out there we go and again if you're doing this from your own image what you want is high contrast you want some blacks you want some whites you want very few grays uh, but you do want a few grays because that's gonna help sort of soften the color there we go that looks pretty good there yeah they're, they're quite a bit different you can do this uh, five times. You could do a hair layer, an eyes layer, a nose layer, a lips layer, uh, based on your color separations. Uh, two is good enough for me right now. Okay. Now with our hair layer selected, um, actually what we're going to do is go and go to image uh, mode and we can convert this over to RGB color now. Don't merge. Okay. With your hair layer selected, we want to make a new uh, fill layer. So go down to your layers panel and uh, click on that black and white circle. Go to solid color choose something really bright. I'm going, to, I'm going to choose this really bright red and I'm going to take it and drag it all the way to the bottom. Okay. Turn off the eyeball for your face. So right now you're just looking at the face layer, uh, sorry, at the hair layer and go to an eraser and um, under your options we can pick whatever size you like. Make sure your hardness is 100 and opacity is 100 and what we're going to do on the hair layer is just go through and erase everything that is not hair. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, actually, I, I missed a little piece up here. There we go, that's pretty good. Um, so now we have one layer that is just hair, and uh, you can see that pretty clearly standing out against the, the red background. Now let's turn on the face layer and, and go there. We're gonna basically do the same thing um, uh, for a lips layer and for a face layer and for an eyebrows layer. So let's just do them one at a time. Let's do our lips first. The lips is, are they're a little easier to select. Uh, just go to a quick selection tool and you can grab the lips pretty easily and then I'm just going to add to that selection by using the lasso. Hold down shift and I'm just going to go up and back down again right around the collar. Okay, I'm going to uh, control C, control V and make a new layer with that. Then I'm going to go back to my face. Holding down control, click on that layer one and backspace it. So if you want to see, um, I've sort of removed that from the face layer and I've made it my own layer with just that on it. Okay. Um, now the face layer, and let's, let's worry about the face layer. Uh, first I'll name this one lips. Okay, now let's go to the face layer and you can see right now it's good. It's got everything except for the face um, or except for the lips selected. I'm also going to add to that selection I'm going to also grab the uh, the hair, okay, and I can backspace that, okay, and then Control D to get rid of the selection, 
and let's just take the eraser again. This time it can be a little bigger because we don't have to be too careful with this. And we're going to go through the face and we're going to just de delete anything that isn't the face. Okay, so there's everything that's not the face. Uh, so now you can see we have one layer that is the face, and that's basically everything that's going to be turned pink. I missed a little chunk right there. That's a pretty big chunk. Uh, then we have uh, a lips layer, which is just the lips and the collar. Finally, we have a hair layer that is just the hair. Now while we're here, let's just go back to the face layer for a second, and uh, we're going to make some we're going to make some eyebrows. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to paint on another layer. I'm going to take a paintbrush doesn't matter what color I use right now it happens to be blue but I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna just sort of paint where I'm eventually gonna want these eye uh, the sort of blue eyelash to go or eyeliner there it is uh, let's just see there we go that's pretty good well that's on its own layer right now okay it's just the blue so all I'm using this for is to sort of make a selection area so I'm going to hold down control, click on layer one, and it's going to select those little eyebrows. I'm going to go down to the face layer. Okay. I can turn off the eyebrows now just so I, you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to copy paste, control C, control V. And now I've got a layer that is just the eyebrows. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change layer two to browse. Okay. And I'm going to delete layer one. I only used it temporarily. Um, Actually, I can leave it there. Why don't we leave it right there? I'll show you what we can do with it. Because what we're eventually going to do is, is put some color layers on here and just multiply them. So already there we have the, uh, there we have, that's, that's working perfectly. Okay. Now let's turn all these layers on again. Uh, we're pretty much done at this point. Um, all we have to do is add our color. So go up to your hair layer and put a new solid layer underneath it, solid color. Okay. Um, we're going to go and grab this yellow from Marilyn. Uh, I might want to strengthen that a little bit. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove um, any areas of the hair that aren't there. So quite simply, hold down control, click on the little hair icon that makes a selection of the hair. We're going to invert that selection, so select inverse. Okay. Then we're going to go to the mask where it says color fill two, and edit fill black. By doing that, we mask out all of the yellow from any black in the mask. Okay. So it only, the yellow only shows up in this white area, and now we just have to go to this yellow layer here and uh, change it to multiply, and that's pretty awesome. Okay, then we can go to the lips and do the same thing. Control D to get rid of our selection. Um, we have our lips layer here. We're going to make a new solid color. And I'm going to grab a nice bright red. There we go. I might make mine a little bit stronger just because. Again, we're going to hold down Control and click on the lips. And that makes a nice selection of the collar and the lips. Go to your Fill Color 3 mask. Um, oh, we got to select Inverse. Okay, and edit, fill, black. There we go. And now we just have to go to the red and change it to multiply. Looking good. Okay, control D to deselect. Um, we'll do our, we've already done our eyebrows, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, we might have to change some things around in a minute. But let's go to the face. And again, new layer, solid color. We'll grab a pink. Click OK. Hold down Control. Click on the face. There's the selection. We're going to invert the selection. I did a shortcut. Um, control, Shift, and I. Okay. Go to your color fill mask. Edit. Fill black. OK. Looking pretty nice. And then just go to your uh, the pink layer, the color layer, and multiply. OK. Control D to end it up. Uh, that is pretty much it. I think it's pretty awesome. Now the nice way about doing it this way is that you can uh, go back in and you can change your colors. So at any time you don't like one of the colors, you can just go and 
and switch it. Okay, and uh, and that's just about it. Now there's a little bit of fine tuning, and I did this one pretty quickly. But uh, as long as you remember that each color separation is just its own layer, and then each color separation gets its own color fill with a mask, and the mask shows in white the areas you want to see, and it shows in black the areas you don't want to see. That's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.